sound is on. Let me get a quick sound check. One, two, one, two from one, two, one, two. Wow. I am so sick and tired of Trevor leaving all of their shit all over the place. Can I curse? Oh, absolutely. Okay, good. And look directly. Yes, I know to look in the camera. I'm a prof I've done this before. Okay, fair enough. Sorry. Yeah, is... I'm so sick and tired. Trevor, is they're constantly leaving everything everywhere. Just the other day, I found a, a leather jacket in with the rest of our outfits. Does this look like the kind of show you wear a leather jacket to? I don't think so. I really don't think so. Constantly putting music on that doesn't belong in the show. Constantly just coming in here with a stupid look on their face. I just can't stand Trevor right now. Trevor, I don't know why you're here. I don't get it. It doesn't make sense to Wait, me. ticket to two for an iPod shuffle. Trevor, it is your iPod shuffle. Thank you. <laughs> I believe you're like a good person outside of all this. You're probably a great guy, gal, whatever you want to be, man. You can do whatever you want, be whoever you want. But here, you need to be on top of your game. And I'm getting really sick of it. Um, <sighs> Alrighty. Um, uh, yeah, yeah, it seems a little stressy. You know, I've um, had a lot of different, I guess, emotions from people. Like some people seem a little uh, perturbed. Can you tell me a little bit about the the society, this drama society that you're a part of? Uh, it's a lot of drama. I know that much. And yeah, I mean, I, I just show up to work every day and try to wrangle these actors and that's about it. Yeah, I hate actors. It is what it is. Um, you know, some people seem like bubbly, pretty excited. I have most enjoyed this rehearsal process because it has been so much fun working with so many collaborative and wonderful people, and I just love what I'm doing. Um, so yeah, it seems like you're, you're definitely on the other side of it. Oh, don't get me wrong. I, I, I mean, I, I, working with Dennis has been great. Working with Sandra, no complaints. Another one, if I could just get this in there, just, you know, just like a little bit, not the greatest. I don't understand why Chris, the director, is also the lead role. I don't really get that. That doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. I mean, it just seems like you would cast somebody who's really good at their job for the lead role, not yourself. That's just kind of pompous and arrogant, I feel. like That's just a little wrong to me. I don't get why Chris is doing that. Um, he's the director, and he's Inspector Carter, and I... I just don't get it. Doesn't make any sense. Yeah, you know, to be honest, you you're not the first person to kind of mention that. I believe you. You're probably way more funny than that <laughs> director. I mean, casting yourself in the lead again. I I actually asked um uh, I asked a director about that, and um he just seemed pretty confident that he was the person um kind of in the entire world that could play this this role correctly. Oh, if truth is to be told, when I found the murder at Habersham Manor, I thought, this is a plum role for me. And I thought, no one could do it better. In fact, I think no one on earth could do it but me. It's his directorial debut, and it really shows. I'm sure he's doing a fine job. Like, he's doing a great whatever. It's okay, I guess. It's just weird to me that he is Inspector Carter and somebody else isn't. You picking up what I'm putting down, buddy? I, I'm picking it up. Okay, great. This lighting is really... Can I... Can I I'm gonna... Oh, sure. Uh, yeah, I, I totally get, you know, the lights are, are definitely bright in here. Um, so, can you tell me... Let's back up. What, what is the name of the production and what character are you playing? So... I'm Robert. I'm playing Thomas Collymore here in the um, the murder at Habersham Manor. Okay. All right. Um, is there anything that you can tell the audience about this production uh, without giving away, you know, too much? Well, um, I will say we have impeccable 
timing right now. The stage is expertly crafted. Everything seems to go exactly where it needs to be. Everything is built 100% structurally sound. I'm so impressed by everything that's coming along here. Um, nothing has caught fire. That's huge. Um, very little, you know, a couple of little minor here things. I, I'm, I'm told that it's all going to be worked out before opening night. I'm told it's all going to come together. Um, you know, a few loose ends here and there are just going to get tied. We have all the props that I'm aware of, or at least we're going to be, I think, tomorrow. So by tomorrow, we should have everything for sure. Bye. <sighs> yeah. Okay. Uh, well, I mean, that sounds positive, at least. Um, you, you know, and you seem pretty confident that, you know, everything's going to work out fine. No fires. No fires. No fires. No fires. No fires. That. Um, uh, that's great. Um, so, yeah. So, uh, I really appreciate you uh, sitting down and, and speaking with me. In, any parting words? If you'll excuse me. All right.